Welcome to Grand Teton Harley-Davidson's Boombox GTS tutorial. In this video we're going to show you how to set up and use your Boombox GTS using the handlebar controls. So let's take a look at the controls that we'll be using. On the left handlebar control we're going to be using the home button and the voice command button. On the right handlebar control we're going to use the back button and the select enter button. Let's get started. Switch your power to accessory, ignition, or if you have a CVO model, switch to run to power up the dash. When the initial screen pops up here, you'll receive this warning message, and you just want to press the select enter button and accept, and you'll move on to the next screen. Within the system, there are two home screens that allow you to navigate through each menu. So we're going to press and hold the home button to explore the first menu screen. When you open this home screen, you'll see you have four options, navigation, information, audio, and volume and radio power. The first menu item we're going to look at is the info screen. And the first thing that pops up you'll see is information about a trip that you've set in the nav system. The second little engine icon will show you vitals about your engine and service details. The third part will show you information about your current trip. To get back to the menu we need to go up to where it says trip summary and we're going to press the back button. That will default back to the radio and then we need to hit the home button, push and hold to get us back to the menu. From the main menu, we're going to push the select enter button down to select volume and power on the radio. By holding down the select enter button, this will power off the radio. Once you've powered the radio off, you must turn it back on by using the touch screen button on the lower right hand side. There is some redundancy in the two home screen menus. So we're going to go to the second home screen to explore the rest of the menu items. Give a short press on the home button and that will take you to the second home menu. With the navigation icon highlighted, we'll press the select enter button to open the navigation menu. With the navigation screen open, the first thing we're going to do is zoom in and out using the plus and minus side on the left hand side of the screen. With the plus sign highlighted, press the select enter button to zoom in. Then push the select enter button down for the minus sign and that will zoom out. Next we'll move the select enter button to the right to highlight the compass. And here as you press the select enter button your view will change from 2D north, 2D heading, and 3D. And you can just make a selection here and leave it on the view that you like. If you would like to enter a destination manually, you can push the select enter button up until the top of the screen is highlighted, press the select enter button, and then move the select enter button down again. That will put a target on the screen that you can move with the select enter button. In this manual search mode, the left handlebar home button becomes your zoom in and out button. By pushing right and left, you can zoom in and out of the map. Once you find the destination you like, press the select enter button and that will become your new destination in the nav system. Once you've selected your destination, you'll be given options on what type of route you want to take. Now we're going to look at setting up the display on our nav page. So let's push the back button a few times until we get back to the main screen. Now we're going to set up the fields on our nav screen. So we're going to push the select enter button down to highlight the lower right hand corner. Once this is done, press the select enter button. Once the right data field menu is open, you'll see a list of items here that you can scroll through by pushing down on the select enter button. You're only allowed to pick one to be displayed in the lower right hand corner of your dash. So scroll down through the menu. When you find the item that you would like to be displayed, press the select enter button and that's what will show up in the right lower corner of your dash. Once you've made your selection for the right data field, press the back button to get to the main screen. Once we're back to the main screen, let's push the select enter button to the left to highlight the left data field. 
then press the Select Enter button to open the menu. The left data field works the same as the right data field. It will display your selection in the lower left corner of the dash. Use the Select Enter button to scroll down through the menu, and once you find the item that you'd like to display, press the Select Enter button, and that item will appear in the lower left corner of your dash. Once you've selected your item for the left data field, press the Back button to get to the main screen, and then we'll push the Select Enter button up until the top line is highlighted, and then to the right to open the Location menu. On the first page, you're going to see Location, which is where you are currently, and it gives some GPS coordinates. In the Options menu, you can set up how your GPS coordinates are displayed. The Save button allows you to save a location for later use, and the GPS button allows you to see the strength of the GPS signal where you currently are. Push the Back button a couple times till we get to the Nav menu. Then we're going to push the Select Enter button up and to the right to highlight the gear icon. The first menu item you see in Map Settings is POI Icons, which is Point of Interest Icons. What this will do is put icons on your nav map to show you points of interest that you choose. With the first line highlighted, you'll see two bubbles on the left-hand side of the box. That means there's two options in this box. Press the Select Enter button to change from Set All to Clear All. This will allow you to set all the POI icons on your page or be able to select them individually. With Select All chosen, this allows you to scroll down the list and put a check mark in the box next to the icons that you'd like to see. Press down on the Select Enter button to scroll down and then press to put a check mark in the box. Once you've selected the POI icons you would like to see on your map, press the Back button to get back to the Map Settings menu. Press the Select Enter button down to highlight the View menu. These are the same three options you had in the Compass menu on the main page. Once you've chosen your view, push down on the Select Enter button to highlight the Auto Zoom menu. You have four options here of Auto Zoom which zooms the map out to your chosen level after you've passed a waypoint on your nav instructions. Once you've set your zoom level, continue to scroll down the menu using the Select Enter button, and you can choose what you have displayed on your map. You can choose as many of these things as you want. Move the Select Enter button to highlight the motorcycle icon and press the Select Enter button. You'll see that you have a choice here of being represented as an arrow, or you can have an electric glide, a road glide, or a street glide. Once you've made your choice of icon, let's push the back button a couple times and get to the main nav screen, and that wraps up our navigation section. Now we're going to have a look at the audio menu. So let's push the home button to get us to the main menu. Once you're back at the main menu, push the select enter button to the left to highlight the musical note representing the audio menu. Then press the select enter button to open the menu. The first screen that shows up in the audio menu is the radio screen. So we're going to move the select enter button across the bottom to show you all the presets that are available. In the radio section you have up to 20 presets that you can set radio stations to. So select the radio station that you want on the preset number that you want and press and hold the select enter button to save that radio station to that preset. If you'd like to change the band that you're listening to, Press the Select Enter button up until the top line is highlighted, then press Select Enter and choose your band from there. You can choose AM, FM, Weather Band, or Bluetooth. If you would like to scan for more radio stations, 
push the select enter button up until the top of the screen is highlighted, then to the right and press select enter to open the menu that has the scan function. With the scan button highlighted, press the select enter button and the radio will automatically go to the next channel with the best reception. Now that we've set up our radio stations, let's get to the audio settings menu. We'll push the select enter button up and to the right, and that will open the menu that shows the audio settings. To open our audio settings, we'll press the select enter button down to highlight audio settings, and then press the select enter button to open the audio settings menu. The first setting we have is our bass level. You can move the select enter button to the right to increase and to the left to decrease your bass setting. Once you've set your bass level, move the select enter button down to highlight the treble, and now you can move to the right to increase and to the left to decrease your treble. Once you've set your bass and treble levels, we're going to push the select enter button down to highlight audio routing. This will allow us to put our media to the speakers or through a headset on the motorcycle. Highlight each of the menus one at a time and move the select enter button left or right to decide whether you want the sound to come from the speakers or through a headset. Once you've made your selections, press the back button to get back to the audio settings menu. Push the select enter button to the right to highlight the fade category and then press select enter to open the fade menu. With the audio fade menu open, move the select enter button to the right and to the left to bias the sound more towards the front or more towards the rear of the motorcycle. Once you've set your audio fade, press the back button to get back to the audio settings menu. From the audio settings menu, move the select enter button to the right to highlight volumes, then press the select enter button. With speaker volumes highlighted, press the select enter button to open the speaker volumes menu. Choose each of the menu items by moving the select enter button up and down. To change the volume of each item, move the select enter button right and left. Once you've set the speaker volumes to the desired level, press the back button to get back to the volumes menu. From the volumes menu, you can then select rider headset volumes and passenger headset volumes and set them up the same way you set up the speaker volume. Once you've set your rider and passenger headset volumes, move the select enter button down to select speed volume. You'll see you have four options there, one through four. Speed volume changes the audio volume based on the speed of the motorcycle, one being the least amount of change and four being the most change. That wraps up our audio section. Let's press the back button till we get back to the main menu, or you can press the home button on the left handlebar. From the main menu, we're going to push down on the select enter button to highlight the star icon, which is our favorites menu, then press the select enter button to open that menu. To create a favorite, press and hold the select enter button and you'll see a list of items that you can make into a favorite. Push the enter select button down to choose a favorite from one of four menu items, tuner, phone, destination, and media. In each menu, press the select enter button to create a new favorite.
Once you've created your favorite, use the back button to get back to the main favorites menu. Once you've selected all the favorites that you want, use the back button to get back to the main menu screen. Once you're back to the main menu, we're going to move the select enter button to the right to highlight the intercom icon and then press the select enter button. Once you've opened the intercom menu, you can change the volume by moving the select enter button to the right and to the left. To turn the intercom off, push the select enter button up and to the right and press the power button. Once you've set your intercom, use the back button to get back to the main menu. Now let's take a look at the setup menu. So from the main menu, move the select enter button to the right to highlight the gear icon and then press the select enter button to open the menu. The first menu item, audio settings, is the same as what we set up in the audio section before. So we're just going to run through this quickly and move on. If you decided to make any changes in the audio settings, push the back button to get to the main setup menu and then push down on the select enter button to highlight the display menu, then push the select enter button. The first item in the display menu is screen brightness. Make sure screen brightness is highlighted and push the select enter button to open the menu. You have two choices in the screen brightness menu. In the box next to automatic, you can put a check mark by pressing select enter and the bike will automatically adjust the screen brightness. If you push select enter down, you can push left and right on the select enter button to adjust the screen brightness on your own. Once you've set your screen brightness, push the back button to get back to the display menu. Then push the select enter button down to highlight button brightness and push the select enter button to open the menu. In the button brightness menu, push the select enter button to the left and to the right, and you'll see the four buttons on the screen change brightness. Once you've set your button brightness, hit the back button to get back to the display menu. A quick note on the colors menu, for color changes in theme colors to be visible when the colors day option is selected, high contrast colors must be unchecked. The first option we have in the colors menu is to select one of three colors modes, day, night, or automatic. You can toggle through each of these options by pressing the select enter button. Now push the select enter button down to highlight theme colors, then press select enter to open the menu. Push the select enter button down to scroll through the available colors. Push the select enter button when you find the color that you like. Once you've chosen your theme color, press the back button to get back to the colors menu. Press the select enter button down to highlight the high contrast colors. And this is just an option you can toggle on and off pressing the select enter button. Now let's push the back button to get back to the main setup menu. Push the select enter button down and then press to select global presets. To help understand global presets a little bit better, I've added some text here from the Harley Davidson website. With the enable box highlighted, press the select enter button to enable and disable global presets. Push the select enter button down one more time and move the button to the right and to the left to select the number of global preset pages you would like. Adding a page will add five more presets for a total of 20 presets. Once you've chosen your number of preset pages, press the back button to get back to the setup menu. Press the select enter button down and you'll have two options for keyboard, full keyboard or large keyboard. Select these by pushing the enter select button. 
I've also added some text from the Harley Davidson website to help explain how the keyboards are used and when you'll see the difference in the sizes. Once you've made a selection for your keyboard, press the home button to get back to the main menu. Once we're back at the home menu, we're going to take a look at how to connect your phone to your Boombox GTS system. In the main menu, we want the phone icon highlighted, and then we're going to press the select enter button to open that menu. If there's no phone currently connected to your Boom audio system, this screen will come up where you can connect your phone. Highlight yes, and press the select enter button. Once you've selected yes to connect your phone, Follow the screen prompts to finish setup. Now that your phone has been connected, we can explore the phone menu. Press the home button to get to the main menu. From the main menu, highlight the phone icon, press the select enter button to open the phone menu. The first item in the phone menu is calls. This will show all calls incoming and outgoing. In the contacts menu, you're going to want to push the select enter button down to sync phone contacts. Press the select enter button to sync contacts from your phone. Once you have synced your phone contacts, they will be available on the contacts on phone menu item. Let's push the back button to get to your phone menu. And we'll push the select enter button to the right and press to select. The message menu item. In the text messaging menu, you'll set up the Boom Audio system to receive and display text messages. The first item in the menu is SMS, and you can put a check mark in the box to enable text messaging by pressing Select Enter. This will enable your inbox and SMS setup menu. Push the Select Enter button down until SMS setup is highlighted and press the select enter button. In the SMS setup menu, you can decide how messages are handled by putting a check mark in the box new message pop up, which will show your message on the screen, or you can have it auto reply to messages by putting a check mark in that box. Then you can go down by pressing the select enter button down to edit reply message. So that will send a message back to the person that sent you a message if you have auto reply checked. Then at the bottom, you can view your reply message. Once you've created your reply message, press the back button to get back to your phone menu. Use your select enter button to navigate to the keypad icon Press the select enter button, and here you'll have the ability to enter a phone number and make a phone call. And once you've entered a phone number to make a call, you can then go to the save icon and save that phone number in your phone book by pressing the select enter button. Let's push the back button and get back to the phone menu. Then we'll push the select enter button to the right and select the SOS icon by pushing the select enter button. With the SOS page open, you can then put in an emergency number that you can get to quickly without having to scroll through your phone book. Highlight the edit number and push the select enter button. Once you press the edit number icon, the keyboard will be brought up for you to be able to enter an SOS number. Once that number has been entered, navigate to the save icon and press the select enter button. Once you've entered your emergency contact number, let's press the back button and get back to the main menu.
from Grand Teton Harley Davidson. Thanks very much for watching our tutorial on the Boombox GTS audio system on your Harley Davidson. If you have any questions, feel free to contact the dealer and we'll help you out.